Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is sponsored by AG1. You guys have heard me talk about these goods before. For a car guy like myself, or guys just like you, AG1 is the easiest daily routine that you can get going for yourself to get your daily nutrition locked in. I'll show you how easy it is right now. Grab me a travel pack out of my AG1 box, tear it open, drop it into this AG1 percolator invented by LS George right here with a 21 millimeter socket, electrical tape to the bottom. I'm gonna put that in there. You're gonna pour in, you know, about six, seven ounces of water, however much you want. I'll tell you what, that looks like, that looks like it needs some mixing right there. So grab your handy dandy impact gun. Oh, take a step outside, you know what I mean? Oh, bro. It did make a perfect centrifuge. We did lose about half our AG1, but it mixed it really well. Now that we've used another packet and some more water, we've got a full drink right here. Now I know most nutritional drinks can be a little bit scary, but AG1 has a pretty good taste to it. All right, essential daily routines like AG1 help us keep moving in a healthy direction. When we're feeling our best, we show up to work better every day. AG1 is the perfect first step to starting each morning. And for a guy like me, it helps me power through my afternoons. I've told you guys about the energy you'll experience when you try AG1 for the first time. And guys, right now you can try AG1 for yourself by visiting athleticgreens.com slash Cletus. If you use my link, which is in the description below, you'll get a free one year supply of vitamin D and K and five free travel packs thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. Mr. Steve Morris. Yes, sir. We got you something. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like, it looks familiar. Yeah, I've fresh out it. the mullet, brother. I've seen it before. Yeah, I'm sure you have. So you're doing a full disassembly on this bad unit today. Per, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I really want to get down saw, to the I bottom of it. I sold you a used engine out of my Scratch car. Scratch and net special. Scratch and net special. But there was a question. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that everything's right. Well, I don't even think I really have that. to do a hundred percent apart. But I really, really am interested in the front hole thrust assembly. So we're gonna tear that apart and just tear apart all the okay. critical stuff. The old Scratch and net special is making a little bit of metal, and Steve is probably thinking about it a little bit at night, wondering where the heck's that metal coming from. So here he is, back in Florida. I just want to make sure. And we're going to double check. Everything's yep. good so we don't tear up a really expensive toy. Yeah, I haven't seen you for like in a month. So it's, yeah. it's got to be here every month. Yeah, it's at least <laughs> once a month. So this was our uh, once a month excuse to get Steve down here. And we're going to get to see the insides of this thing a little bit today as Steve tears into it to find out what may be wrong. All right, so we're halfway in and nothing yet. Looks like a million bucks. Weird. So, Very weird. Yeah, a little scratch and dent stuff is like like that, like this over here, yeah. like that, that. And the eight rods that went through the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah all the little pilly, <laughs> all the little pilly stuff. Uh, this side of the motor is the one that took the beat in. Really? This side is okay, yeah. A lot of welding to repair it? Yeah. There's a whole video on that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> on, on fixing the block. It looks good, I'm just repairing the block, yeah. Because we welded this all up and then remachined everything, so. All right, it's well, all stuff you can't see from the stains. We'll find something in here. All right, well, after... After a little bit of research and development here, what do we got going on? All right, so we got two things. Find, we found out where the metal is coming from. So we'll cover the first one. The metallic -y. The metallic-y. Magnetic uh, magnetic -y stuff. So the way this works is I do not use, I do not let it ride on the stock thrust bearing. Okay. So the stock thrust bearing is not actually used. It rides all the pressure of the crankshaft moving forward is through this roller bearing right here. Okay, got it. So these are original bearings out of this engine. Uh, so I make sure that it doesn't touch this bearing, that it only rides on this bearing. I sand all the Babbitt material off. So you sand those down. So I there's sand a these big down. gap in between. It, well, like a couple thousands. But yeah. yeah, but there's a <laughs> yeah, there's bigger a, there's, than normal gap. Yeah, bigger than normal gap. So it will not touch the stock thrust bearing. We're talking about this piece right. of the crank yep. pushing on the bearing that rides. Right, so what right happens is your torque converter is continually trying to push your crankshaft right through the front of the motor. Yeah. Pushes it forward, okay? So what's going on is uh, in my car, I only have like 40 pounds of charge pressure. Well, it's got more. Yeah. It must be enough that it has now touched the crank onto the thrust black, bearing. Blackened the bearing, because this will be steel on steel now because I only use the thrust bearing yep. up in the front. Steel on steel, and it's even blackened up the crankshaft right here. Okay. Not the end of the world. 
the bearings themselves still are fine. It's just hitting this, and that's why it probably only makes material when it is going, going down, down the track. track. The driving, charge pressure. driving, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't yeah. get the track. Going down track, it does. Got so it. Like, we figured that part out. Then Zach brought to my attention, he goes, as he was cleaning the oil pan, Yep. he goes, hey, where did that go? The tip of that? The stainless steel wire tip. I go, oh, I don't know. We better go look. Take the pump apart. And I cannot... And this, this is the same pump and everything out of your car. Yeah, this, yeah. When that, which is not in the oil pan, we can't find it. Yep. It is gone. <laughs> Obviously had to get, and it would only get sucked up. I mean, suction is going this yeah, direction. Yeah, so it got sucked, so it got towards sucked the in, pump. Sucked into the pump, destroys the pump, and this pump is foobarred up. I oh, can't, yeah. I can't even get the pump apart. Ah. So this So it's just destroying is where itself. all the aluminum has come from. This is why, why the oil pan is always clean. Yeah. Doesn't have all the aluminum in it, but the filter does. Because it's because happening it's, at it's the pump. It's happening here. Got it. <laughs> And it goes right to the filter, and the filter catches it, and that's why the bearings look fine. We took the bearings out of it, too. The bearings still look like brand new. Okay. So that's why everything's getting caught, because it's pumped to the filter. Well, pumped to the tank to the filter, so the tank is going to be filthy, nasty. Okay. Because all this material is there. So uh, I will see if I – I don't know if I have another pump, but we might need to get one We're ASAP. we have to get one ASAP to make it to yes. Street Car Takeover next week. It's always that last yeah, we can, minute, dude. Yeah, we, we can do something next week. You just can't do it today. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right, so that is it. Yeah. That oh, is, oh, yeah, look at that. That is fugliness right there. So some stainless steel through aluminum pump gears, and you Good have housing, some yeah. self-destruction going on. Yeah, you look right there. It's all, you run your finger across it, and yeah, so it's. Oh, you can't even spin it. No, it's locked up. After I, I started taking it apart and got half it's of it kind of going a out. little bit. Yeah, so we're going to stop right there. We'll package this thing all up and make it. Peterson's problem. They can fix it. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. I'm glad we took it apart though, because at least we found that thrust bearing issue. Yeah. This this probably would have continued to get worse. So we need to uh, address that. I'm gonna add more, clearance, more clearance to it. Okay. And then you're gonna figure out how to maybe take a little charge pressure out of it. All right. That sounds good. All right. Well. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's. I'm happy because I was really hoping there wasn't some major you know issue going on and we caught and it early both. yeah <laughs> we caught it early <laughs> well you heard it from the man himself our scratch and dent smx is good to go just needs a new oil pump and a fresh thrust bearing is this will this is how you doing well is it will or william Which i go one? i go by doug williams oh by doug yeah. i can go with doug doug will work oh, too good. and some buddies yep, yep. drove oh. you down my ride and my back right, nice so. dude <laughs> so we got the tahoe winner right here and you know, normally I show the phone call, you know, when I call you, but this guy's from Florida. So he was able to just come and pick the thing up right away. Yeah, we're about less than two hours away, so. Yeah, That's crazy. Florida. Our first Florida winter. Everyone else has been like Midwest or far away, so it's worked out pretty good. And you got your Jack Stan shirt. Is that what won you? This is shirt that won, yeah. No Jackson way. It could be any shirt on the website. You got the Jack Stan shirt. All right, let me make sure they're ready. There she is, brother. Check it out, man. <laughs> you pop the hood? There you go, brother. This Pretty is, solid setup. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> this is so surreal. This yeah, is so man. awesome. Yeah. This is the shirt that won it. <laughs> Winning shirt. Any shirt on the way? It could be anything, man. Have you owned anything crazy like this? Um, Me and my brother are building a 78 Camaro in our garage for the oh, past three years. So. Nice. What do you do for a living? I'm a program manager at a MRO facility for aviation. So we tear down airplanes, oh. rebuild them back up wow. from, from scratch. So All right. Yeah, <laughs> well, pretty cool stuff. that's cool, man. Dude, this thing's bad to bone. Check the interior out. It's so clean in this thing. <laughs> it's like factory yeah. in there. Oh, wow. I just went through the whole uh, killer performance videos on it. And oh yeah. Just head to toe, I watched them like three times just nah. to look and see. It's now you so already awesome. know. Yeah. yeah it's so awesome. That's cool, man. Wow. Well, I guess let's do some paperwork and then if you're up for it, you know, usually the contestants do a little burnout oh, for us. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's what I like to hear. I don't think anybody ever thinks they're gonna win it, and then you're that person. You're like. What? Yeah, did you think the phone call <laughs> yeah. was a scam? I totally, totally thought it was a scam. Even asked the lady, I said, this seems kind of scammy. So, no, she reassured it. <laughs> Gave 
gave me a LinkedIn website, the, the website of the company, and yeah. everything checked out. So That's I was just good. waiting for that phone call. <laughs> and they didn't ask you for a five hundred dollar deposit. Not a penny. Not a penny. <laughs> That's the the key there. Yeah. This is a good time to point out, guys. You'll never be reached about one of our giveaways via Telegram from a YouTube comment. You know, that's just. And if they're asking you for a hundred dollar deposit for something you won, it's a scam. Okay, you're gonna get a call from a law firm if you ever win one of our giveaways. Stop shooting down my carrier pigeons because I was yeah. supposed to win this. <laughs> All right, let's hit it, dude. I'm gonna ride with you over to the track. It's pretty damn fast, dude. <laughs> what was that, about three-quarter throttle? Yeah, that was not full Believe she's already gone, boys? Yeah. It was too quick. It was too quick. Give her a little rip there, bud. life with this guy staying in florida our first florida winner that's what i like to see brother hey man congratulations thank you so much yeah dude thank you and enjoy this thing Absolutely. and hopefully bring it out to the track or some events in the yeah, future yeah. we'll see it again Let's sounds good florida. all right doug thanks buddy all right guys another giveaway down let us know what you want us to do next right now we're planning on doing the aerial adam but we'll see there she goes. We're here with the legendary Steve Morris. He built this engine, so he ought to be able to time it. So we're taking advantage of having that Steve Morris time here at the shop. We're gonna get this thing running. He's probably gonna give it an ear check, give us a thumbs up. We'll never even check the timing. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, that's all good. Are you ready, brother? You went ahead and retimed her? Well, I just, I just set it up, so. Yeah, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't really do that, did we? It was a little bit off. Probably is a little bit off. It's about 40 degrees off. So like All right. Well, 40 degrees isn't that bad. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> engine sounds better than me. Let me <laughs> tighten that up for you. What size is that? Brother. Yeah. Sucker sounds Does that feel good, good or what? Yes. The mystery machine's not running good. Mm. It's a rotary. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> All right, big thanks to Steve for coming to the shop once a month, like he said. So <laughs> you got several more trips this year. What do you got? Seven more? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> he said this one counted as two. <laughs> yeah, this one counted as two. So Steve Morris back in the shop no, helping us get stuff get done. This is a Steve Morris engine. SMX is already back together. Let's take a look at it real quick. Yeah, so the SMX is back together and ready to get dropped right in. Uh, everything's <laughs> Whoa, <brother. laughs> Look at that hole, by the way. That's a horsepower hole. So the SMX is all good to go. Sam, did you learn anything today? Oh, immense. I, I just, it'd take me a week to write down everything that I learned. And he does it so easily, like, yeah, da, 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 da. slow down. I got to learn this. I'm, I'm old and I'm slow, but <laughs> slow down. But no, so much I learned today. It was so fantastic. We are back together and ready to go back in mullet. We got streetcar takeover Bristol the night before 
Bristol Danger Ranger on dirt. So next Friday, the 21st of April, we will be racing mullets. So we have some work to do to get this puppy back together, but mullet will be at Streetcar Taver Bristol and then Cletus and Cars Indy. So we've got a couple races coming up. That's it for now. Thanks for watching New Fidel. We'll freaking see you later. Oh, also, go check out our boy Steve's channel. Steve Morris Engines. You know the deal. YouTube. Like, subscribe, buy merch. <laughs> <laughs>